This presentation, Patient Follow-Up, is sponsored by the National Cancer Registrar's Association Education Foundation. During this presentation, we will define what patient follow-up is, identify the goals of follow-up, review the methods used to perform and obtain follow-up, and discuss why lifetime follow-up is an important aspect of the cancer registry. Dr. E.A. Codman, one of the founders of the American College of Surgeons, stated, the main purpose of patient follow-up is to determine if the treatment worked. Patient follow-up provides ongoing surveillance and a means of evaluating outcomes, which includes collecting first course of treatment as well as any subsequent treatment due to progression or recurrence of the patient's cancer. It also serves as a reminder to the patient and practitioner to schedule regular clinical examinations. Cancer registrars perform follow-up for each patient on an annual basis. The Cancer Registry runs a monthly report listing patients whose abstracts have not been updated in the past 13 months. The registrar then uses multiple sources to find updated information on the patient. The Cancer Registry reviews the patient's hospital and, if they have access, the clinical medical records to see whether the patient has been seen within the past year. If there are no new encounters, other resources are reviewed, including obituaries, state death indices, and other facility or registrar contacts. If no new contact date is found after reviewing these sources, the registrar sends a letter to the managing physician to obtain the most recent contact date the physician or clinic had with the patient. If the physician letter is returned without a more recent contact date, a patient letter may be sent. The case should be reviewed carefully before a patient letter is sent. A secondary contact letter may be sent if the patient is a minor or has a legal guardian. Sometimes, a cancer registrar may send a letter to another cancer registry to obtain follow-up information. Some registries have the capability to import or interface data to update a patient's date of last contact. This is called auto-batching. Two application examples would be Accurant People Search or Redson. Some cancer registry software have the ability to allow cancer registrars to import data from the disease index to update the date of last contact. This saves the cancer registrar time by not having to complete it manually. When sending a patient letter, most cancer registries include a brochure that explains the function of a cancer registry why the patient is receiving the letter, and how their information is used by the registry. The brochure also assures the patient that their information is kept confidential. Ongoing patient follow-up provides invaluable surveillance information at the local, regional, and national levels. It is important for outcome statistics to know the patient's cancer status. Are they cancer-free? If the cancer has recurred, where did it recur? Did they have additional treatment? Have they been diagnosed with a new and different primary? Required follow-up rates are set by various agencies and governing bodies. SEER cancer programs are required to maintain a 95% follow-up rate. Commission on Cancer accredited programs must maintain certain follow-up rates for two standards. Standard 5.3, follow-up on all patients from the facility's reference date must be at least 80%. Standard 5.4, follow-up on recent patients within the past five years or the facility's reference date, whichever is shorter, must be at least 90 percent. When there has been no contact with the patient for more than 15 months, the patient is considered to be lost to follow-up. However, this does not mean the cancer registry never follows up on this patient again. Each year, the patient's medical record should be reviewed to determine if the patient had an encounter at the facility within the last 12 months. It is important to perform an annual update of information concerning treatment, recurrence, and patient status in order to maintain accurate surveillance and outcome measures such as survival rates. Follow-up also helps ensure an accurate assessment of the regional cancer burden, which can influence the allocation of medical resources and to help to identify changes in the regional cancer rates. Follow-up is an organized, sequential method of obtaining information on the current health status of patients to see if their treatment worked. It serves as a reminder to patients and practitioners about the importance of continued surveillance. 
The Cancer Registry uses many sources like hospital and clinic encounters to obtain follow-up information before sending letters to physicians and patients. Thank you. This presentation is brought to you by the National Cancer Registrar's Association Education Foundation. For more information on the Education Foundation, go to www.ncraeducationfoundation.org. For more information on the Cancer Registry profession, go to the NCRA website at www.ncra-usa.org.